During the late Pleistocene, or ending of the last ice age, the global sea levels were at least 120 meters, around 400 feet lower than they are today, exposing much more area on the continents, uh, coastlines, and especially islands such as the Azores and the Atlantic. This map shows the coastlines during the antediluvian or pre-flood times when much of the ocean water was trapped as glaciers and most of Europe was under one to two miles of ice. Rapidly melting glaciers caused global sea levels to rise which covered much of the then exposed and above water mid-Atlantic ridge around 11,500 years ago at the end of the Pleistocene and start of the Holocene exactly when Plato said Atlantis was submerged. In the 19th century, Madame Blavatsky supported the idea of an Atlantic continent running through the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, claiming that the Mid-Atlantic Ridge itself is a remnant of Atlantis. Blavatsky says, and I quote, No more striking confirmation of our position could be given than the fact that the elevated ridge in the Atlantic Basin, 9,000 feet in height, which runs some 3,000 miles southward from a point near the British Islands, first slopes toward South America, then shifts almost at a right angle to proceed in a southeasterly line towards the African coast once it runs on southward. This ridge is a remnant of an Atlantic continent. Blavatsky comments on Atlantis many times, far too many to accumulate here in this short presentation. But briefly, she tells us that the large Atlantean continent did not sink all at once, but in four stages, the last small remnant of an island called Poseidonus, submerging just under 12,000 years ago. And she says again, and I quote, an impenetrable veil of secrecy was thrown over the occult and religious mysteries taught after the submersion of the last remnant of the Atlantean race some 12,000 years ago. The famous island of Plato of that name was but of a fragment of this great continent. The last serious change occurred some 12,000 years ago and was followed by the submersion of Plato's little Atlantic island which he calls Atlantis after its parent continent. Geography was part of the mysteries in the days of old. So that said, let us now reflect on this quote from Plato written about 2,500 years ago. And again I quote, This power came forth out of the Atlantic Ocean, for in those days the Atlantic was navigable, and there was an island situated in front of the straits, which were by you called the Pillars of Hercules. The island was larger than Libya and Asia put together, and was the way to the other islands, from these you might pass to the whole of the opposite continent which surrounded the true ocean. For this sea, which is within the Straits of Hercules, is only a harbor, having a narrow entrance, but the other is a real sea, and the surrounding land may be most truly called a boundless continent. Now in this island of Atlantis, there was a great and wonderful empire which had rule over the whole island and several others and over parts of the continent and therefore the men of Atlantis had subjugated the parts of Libya within the columns of Hercules as far as Egypt and of Europe as far as Tyrania. This vast power gathered into one endeavored to subdue out of blow our country and yours and the whole of the region within the straits. And then, Solon, your country shone forth in the excellence of her virtue and strength among all mankind. She was preeminent in courage and military skill and was the leader of all the Hellenes. And when the rest fell off from her, being compelled to stand alone after having undergone the very extremity of danger, she defeated and triumphed over the invaders and preserved from slavery those who were not yet subjugated and generously liberated all the rest of us who dwell within the pillars. But afterwards, there occurred violent earthquakes and floods, and in a single day and night of misfortune, 
all your warlike men in a body sank into the earth, and the island of Atlantis in like manner disappeared in the depths of the sea, for which reason the sea in those parts is impassable and impenetrable because there's a shoal of mud in the way, and this was caused by the subsidence of the island. That was Plato from Timaeus and Critias. My name is Robert Sepper. I'm an anthropologist and now author, and I'd like to invite you to take a look at history from a new perspective, or rather an older one. Species with Amnesia, Our Forgotten History, and Gods with Amnesia, Subterranean Worlds of Inner Earth. I appreciate all the support, and I thank you.